Okay, so in video two um, here of week seven, we're going to talk about um, inputting channel dimmer unit information into our lighting instruments. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple of different lights here. Um, so I'm going to select my light, and we're going to use the, the duplicate and the move tool, which are going to help us out here. So I'm going to hit command D to duplicate the light, and then command M to move it. Um, and then here it'll tell you X, X offset or, or Y offset, and I want this to go to the right 18 inches, so I'm going to type that into the X offset. And I'm just going to keep hitting Command D and Command M, and actually this will remember whatever I did last. So if I keep moving it 18 inches, then that will work out very nicely for me. Great, so I have a couple of lights here. And so if I want to edit the information in the lights, Um, this is some helpful information. So information about its class and layer, which you should have a lighting class. And I actually break up my classes by front light, back light, side light, whatever um, type you have. Um, that's how I uh, generally will break up the classes so that I can, can look at things easier. Um, and then down here, um, you know, the things we'll look at right now is like purpose. So maybe this is like a down center front light. Position, position, trust one, um, which you can, like all these are on trust one. So if I highlight all of these and I hit shift, oh, I highlight all of them, and I put position, trust one, it will automatically go to all, all of these lights. So now every light I hit will have trust one on it. Um, uh, we'll get to unit number in a moment. Um, color. Um, which is, if you look at Lan, uh, Lee, Gam, or Roscoe, you can figure out which colors you want. I'm going to use Lee 201, which is sort of a common one um, that people use. Um, you don't need to worry about dimmer information uh, just yet. Um, normally, actually, as a lighting designer, I rarely touch dimmer. I usually use um, just channel, and then I let the electricians figure out how they want to circuit um, the plot. Um, same thing with address typically, um, unless there's some moving lights or things that I need to, to be very specific about. So, um, channel is however you, um, however you feel, um, you want your lights to be channeled. So you need an individual, uh, whatever you need individual control of needs a unique channel and it's up to the lighting designer to decide how they want to channel their lights. So normally there's some sort of system to it right, like down right front light is channel one, and then the one to the left of that is channel two, so on and so forth. For unit numbers, we label our unit numbers from stage left to stage right, okay? Um, so that's typically how um, how we do it. So, so this would be unit one, this would be unit two, this would be unit three, four, five, six. Now, I could go through and I could hit this and go, um, unit one and then go to the next one hit unit two, but it seems like there should be an easier way, right? Well, if you hit command or I think on Windows it's control command option shift N And this will open the spotlight numbering um, Tool which is a really 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 useful tool again. That's command option shift N and if you hit object Do I have an object highlighted I do I have the slab highlighted Hit Command, Option, Shift, N, and now I can hit Lighting Device, and then all these fields you can choose to go up. So be very careful with this because if you have something checked, it will it will adjust that field in those lights. So right now, all I want to do is unit number. So if I find unit number down here and I hit Check, and I want to start at one, I want to go up by an increment of one. Um, I don't need to do DMX footprint. I don't really need to change anything else, but I'm just going to hit that. Okay, great. And I go over to lights and I hit this. I want this to be one, this to be two, this to be three, this to be four, this to be five, and this to be six. And then I'm going to select somewhere where there's nothing. And now this is unit one, unit two, Unit 3, Unit 4, Unit 5, and Unit 6. So now we have our, our lights unit uh, unit numbers. 
Um, and then I'm going to channel them. I, I tend to channel left to right, so I'm going to do the same thing. Hit Command, Option, Shift, N, um, which again, I have the slab highlighted for some reason. Um, seems to be a common thing. Command, Option, Shift, N. And I'm going to uncheck unit number because I'm no longer affecting unit numbers. I want to control channels. And I'm going to start my front of house truss at 101 because um, I have some other, other things I want to do. So this is channel 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106. And then same thing, I'm just going to click out on the side here. And now you'll see that that information is in lane devices. But what's sort of annoying is that you can't see these on the lights themselves. So that's what we're going to talk about in the next video is creating label legends so that your lighting devices will show up all this information automatically um, on your plans.